Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 974. Hey, if you want to download those workbook 971 and 975, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have uh, first, last, and title in some columns, and we need to join them into one, one cell. So we can simply make a text formula. Now we'll do this two ways. We'll do use the ampersand and then the concatenate function. All right, so I'm going to create a formula. Equal sign is the first character. I'm going to say first name. Now I could use the ampersand shift 7 to join with this last name. What this is doing, the ampersand, it joins. It takes two things from two separate cells, puts them together, and now they're one thing in one cell. Of course, that's not going to work because we need a space. So we actually need to join the first name to a text string, double quotes. Any text and formulas are in double quotes, space, double quotes. So even though we have a space, it's visually we're not going to see anything, right? It's not like a letter. It still is considered a thing, a text thing, and you've got to put it in double quotes. So now I have to put another ampersand. Now that joins first and last. Pretty cool. But now we need to join ampersand and then double quotes, comma, space, and double quotes, join that little bit of text finally with the title. And there we go. Last, first, comma, and the title. Now we could use a function, you know, and what if I didn't even know there was a function? I'm going to try this. I'm going to click in the cell and click on the f of x. And up here I'm going to say join text. Click OK. Whoops. I don't know what I did there. Uh, I could use this f of x. The keyboard is shift f3. That's for insert function. Shift F3. Let me try this again. Join text. Maybe click, uh, oh, I see. I had, I don't know what I did there. Click go. And there it is. Uh, there's a bunch of functions, and you just click on them one by one and read the description down here. It just so happened that this one came up uh, first, join several text strings into one text string. Uh, and I'm going to click OK. Now watch this. There is an uh, advantage to the concatenate. I'm going to click on Smith. Notice here I have a, a uh, sample. And then I'm going to hit Tab. And now I'm going to type Space and then Tab. So isn't that cool? I didn't have to know the syntax for double quote, double quote, but there it is. And then I'm going to click, oh, wait a second. Uh, I got this backwards. How about I went carry Smith, right, and a space, and then tab. I move forward. Now I'm going to type a comma and a space tab, and finally the title. So the advantage here is you don't have to know how to use the ampersand. You don't have to uh, know the syntax for text, which is double quotes. It puts it in for you. Absolutely awesome. Click OK, double click, and send it down. So we can use the concatenate. Uh, so certainly easy if you don't use the syntax. I tend to do this, you know, after so many creating so many formulas, you just kind of get the hang of ampersand and whatnot. All right, we'll see you next trick.